So when I show you guys these lands, my thought process is always um, that I want you guys to see these spaces and then want to come and visit them on your own. For me, that's how I operate. When I, um, If I see a video in Second Life and they're visiting a place that I feel like, oh, this is a really nice space, I will go and visit that place. I feel like because there are so many places in Second Life that are not in surge and they may not be the easiest for people to find, just being able to, oh, this is the zip line. Can I get over here without falling? I just want to look at the view. Um, showing people um, the different places and spaces, it just gives them the opportunity to come and visit some of these places that they probably didn't know existed and that they didn't see um, by just like searching because a lot of these places are not in search. Uh, much like a lot of the like the clubs and things that you can go to, they're not in um, they're not in search. They're kind of they be giving exclusive i'ma just say that they be giving exclusives look at the swans with their babies oh how cute they say we parents and then the little mermaid with the little fishies at the bottom it's so beautiful i love like the little sparkles around i love that so what's over here so yeah so that that's always my hope is just that you guys check these places out um for yourself so that you guys can really see how beautiful they are they look nice in the video but when i tell you if you go when you come into second life and look at these places much more breathtaking much more breathtaking look at this beautiful beautiful you guys know we're gonna check out the dj equipment i love me some dj equipment Ain't never DJed a day in my real life or second life, but I love um, all the little details and all the little knobs and things that they have um, on the DJ equipment. I really do like it. Look how cute this is. That's the girl in me. I'm like, it's so many different buttons. I don't know what any of these do, of course, but they're nice to look at. So this is like a dance area, not like, this is a dance area that um, if you come here, you can come and dance by yourself or with someone else. Do they have a dance ball? Yeah, so they have a dance ball that you can click. I believe this is it and you click it, this little statue right here and it should give you like um, couple as well as single dances. So let's see what this, what this bar time at. So this is not, you know, you know, we love some liquor. We, we love some liquor in Second Life, you know. So they have different um, liquor options. You also can have coffee. So this is like a little one-stop shop for all of your drink needs. And what is a tropical space without watermelon? I mean, come on now. It, that is very refreshing and hydrating. It doesn't get any better. So they have nice little liquor options as well as some nice little fruit options. Let's just pan around here really quickly. They got some little daiquiris going. So their bar area is super cute. It's very simple and I love that. You don't need to have a whole bunch of stuff going on when the land really just like speaks for itself. You just want a nice little chill spot. So I love it. Oh, they have like little sushi treats here with some nice wine. Oh, I love this. So pretty, a nice little Chardonnay. So they have some stairs over here, but I don't know if it, does it lead to anything? I don't want to fall down too far. Okay, this is a cute little swing. So these would be some nice pictures as well. Let me back up some. Sometimes my zoom just does the most. And that's what it's doing right now. How cute is this? This would be a really nice um, maternity picture. Mm-hmm. Look how cute this swing is with the really pretty background of just the waterfall and then they have like the blue lights. So, ooh, almost like if it, like, it doesn't matter if you're having like a boy or a girl, you know? Cause it has a little pink ribbon on there but then they have the blue lights. So that would be a really nice, um, maternity um, space to take a picture. I love how they made sure they 
showcased the water. They really, really made sure that they didn't leave the water out. They didn't fill the space up so much. Look at the birds. They didn't fill the space up so much so that you would forget about the water. So beautiful. I love the waves. I love the palms. So nice. I love that they have different elevations and we know when the spaces are smaller, it's best to do what? Build up. And that is exactly what they've done. Super nice little secluded sitting space. Another one, very beautiful. I feel like this place would be an awesome spot to just come and chill and just to be able to relax by yourself. Um, I love this space. Look at all the colors. So pretty. So this is like a nice little space that you can come and do some art and just kind of explore your creativity in such a beautiful space. How could you not be creative? I love how they have all of the paints. Everything is so realistic. So it's not just like everything is just like perfect, perfect. They make it very realistic for what's going on in the space. So they have like the little paint splatters on the ground because this is a painting area and that is inevitable. I love how they have the little drying rack. The little acrylic paints everything is so nice and so realistic i love this art all of these beautiful colors here with the purples and the greens with the blue in the background this beautiful picture here i love it look at the trees with like the little sparkly pieces just kind of draped down Almost like a weeping willow effect. So pretty. This would be a the this is the space that I would just come to and just kind of vibe out for a little bit. Um, a really, really nice chill spot, but I also like that it's very accommodating if you want to come with multiple people or like a couple. Um, but again, this is also a really nice space to come to by yourself. I know Second Life is, these drinks look so yummy. I know Second Life is um, mint. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say mint, but for the most part, it is a place where people can come and just really find um, community and a lot of different friends and be able to kind of do and explore different things that you might not necessarily get to do or want to do in real life. But for me, um, this is this is my quiet space. You know, I love exploring these spaces with you guys, but I, I love the fact that I don't have the friendship responsibilities in Second Life. I am an introvert and I do find a lot of the times where I do feel like I'm not the best of friend. My friends always tell me like, shut up. We understand you. We get you. I'm, I, I want to be, it's like a part of me really wants to, I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know what's going on with this. I'm, we're going to leave it alone. I do want to be like that chatty friend. A part of me wants to be like that. I love this little like broken off palm tree. I love that. But that's, I'm, I'm not her. I'm not her. I'm the friend where we will talk. Um, if you need me, I'm always here. But we're not going to talk every day. We're not going to talk most days. Keeping it a thousand. And I know there are a lot of friendships where that just would not work for them. I love this rug and you can sit on it. This little rug with the tassels here. I love the beautiful colors. And so... I have friends that understand that, that know like, okay, we're not going to hear from Candace every day. This is, this is just not, it's not happening. She's not built like that. I, I cannot deal with um, talking to people every day, even when I really, really love them. The only people that, the only person that I talk to every day is my mom you know and even with her we do a lot of texting because my mom is very much the same way as i am and so in second life i don't have to i don't have to have the responsibility of 
friends because it is a responsibility to have friends and to maintain a friendship. It's not just something that happens. Even if you just so happen to meet someone and you guys become friends, to be able to maintain that friendship, it takes work. And that is something that is um, work and responsibility that I reserve for my real life experiences. And so because I have the option to not have that responsibility in second life, I choose not to. And it is a wonderful choice that I have never felt not one regret from. I have um, associates that I rarely talk to, but if they need me, I am here. And I know that that extends um, to them as well. So I just really love being able to be in Second Life by myself and just enjoy this space with my most favorite person in the world, and that would be me. So you guys, this is Bali Paradise. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, the landmark for this place will be in the description box below. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.